You know, the word goodbye didn't exist once upon a time. Before, people probably just said farewell, which means exactly that, farewell. Goodbye, actually, according to some, originally was an acronym. G-B-W-Y, for God be with ye. It's strange to think that every goodbye, whether to a stranger or to family, prays that God would protect them. It's also somewhat comforting. I've never been particularly spiritual, I've always wondered why. If God is so benevolent, so much pain exists. Genocides, pandemics, death. Why is it still here? I, I want it to go away. I want it to stop hurting. I hope someone will pray for me. Well, <clears throat> it's it's not perfect, but I, I think I have everything to do this. Uh, if it works, it'll be better. And, and if it doesn't, uh, at least I won't have to feel this anymore. Elohim. If you're really there, if you care, forgive me for what I am about to do. Goodbye, world. Hmm? I knew I felt a strange energy here, but... This? This is... familiar. And not in a good way. But how? It's not possible. Is it? Oh, fuck. Damn it! Oh, how could this have happened under my very nose? I thought that infernal book was gone for good. <sighs> Apparently not. Who are you, my young friend? What drove you to such lengths? <sighs> this... This is beyond my power. Yes, but not beyond mine, as you well know. Divus? Is this what I think it is? Yes. It appears the sins of your former life still haunt these worlds with an undying grasp. There will always be those who seek answers and find their conclusions in desperation. The lines between what is possible and what is not means very little to one who has lost their way. You know this feeling very well, Magister. So what? Are you just going to heal them like you did me? What other purpose could this serve? Well, yes and no. Not everything needs to be pragmatic. However, there is a potential opportunity for growth here. Elaborate. 
I shall. But first, there is a more emergent issue that needs our attention. This poor soul requires our aid. Let's take them to your archive. I have a place already set up for their recovery. Wait. You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Well, I am God, Arthur. And how is it that you're making me do all the healing this time? Did I not give you these abilities to right your wrongs and find solace in healing a wound you caused? They are here and hurt due to the dark mind of your past. So, it's only fair that you be the one to fix this. Huh? You're awake. Good. It seems you're stronger than you look. What? Where? <coughs> Ow. No, please. You have to remain still. I'm no Moon Knight, but even I can tell you're only barely alive. Who... Who are you? You can just call me Arthur. I'm the one who found you after you underwent that foolish rite. It nearly destroyed you. It's only by the grace of God that you're still drawing breath. <sighs> yeah. Uh, my name's Sam. And I'll have to thank him, if he's even real. Oh, you're quite welcome, dear child. Ah! <laughs> Apologies. I forget that's a bit startling for people to hear. Even so, a pleasure to finally meet you face to face. I have many names. Your culture often refers to me as Hashem, Elohim, or Adonai. I am also called God, Allah, but you may refer to me as Divus. Uh, I, you... Don't strain your mind too hard. You won't get anything except a headache and more questions. It's better if you just let it be. Oh, Arthur, show a bit more empathy to your newest student. What? what? Oh, I'm sorry, God. I don't believe I heard you correctly. Come again. Now, now, let me finish. Since your purpose here is to atone and fix the damage done to the multiverse, I have one more way you can help accomplish that. That is, if they choose it to be so. Young Sam, a decision is upon you. I know this all seems so... sudden, but let me help you understand. You have stumbled into something beyond most mortal comprehension. This may seem unfamiliar, but you now have the opportunity to discover what this means, explore the mysteries of the vast multiverse, understand the fabric of reality as I wrote it, and have the power to alleviate the suffering of others as you wished for yourself. I know existence as you've lived it, thus far, has seemed harsh and unkind. I am all too aware of that. Perfection comes at the cost of free will. The same will you must use now. You can return to your former life, where all you know and love is waiting for your safe return. Or, you could stay here, in this astral archive, under the tutelage of my protege, Arthur here. You will also be gifted with my abilities, much like he was, after he performed that same dark rite. And why is it that they get a choice, and I was just thrust into this with reckless abandon? Unlike yours, their original intent was innocent and compassionate. 
while you desired only power and control out of avarice. You have much to fix. They are a part of that now. I... um... this, this is a... a lot to take in. I... I... I don't know what to do. <sighs> Look, I know all this seems impossible now. But believe me, for minds much like mine, this life gives you a sense of purpose. A sense in which I feel you've been desperately searching for. So, much to my chagrin, if it must be so, I will be your mentor through this harrowing experience. I... I... I don't know if I could face my family after this. Knowing I tried to... But if I leave, they might hurt more. I'll... I'll... I'll join you. I... I it's... It's not like I was going very far with an art degree anyway. You may find that it'll be more useful here than you think. So then... You choose to stay, Sam. Very well. I know in my very being, you are destined for greatness. Even if you don't think that's possible now. Here, child. You'll need these boons born of my power to thrive between realms. Give me your hand. Upon your wrist, I bestow the mark to conjure new objects from the images you create. Here, and in your hair, I give you the ability to hold that which you create or find within this mark, whether on skin or in page. And allow me to embrace you, for this mark on your back will maintain your form and counteract the damage done to your soul within. With these marks, you are now my muse, sharing a spark of my divinity, my little lore keeper. Take this sliver of me and use it to find peace for yourself and others. Hmm, those marks, they suit you. Now, I believe this means I'll have to throw together a curriculum for your new education here in the archives. Oh, that gives me a wonderful idea. This place is rather large for just the two of you. Hmm, ideas, ideas. <laughs> I'll workshop it. I guess I'll leave you to it. Plus, my attention is needed elsewhere. I expect you to play your part in that soon, Arthur. The plans are coming to fruition. <laughs> Be well, children. Admittedly... That felt just slightly ominous, uh, but the hug was nice. <laughs> um, <clears throat> thank you for helping me. <laughs> Much obliged. And honestly, for being the creator of the human race, he really doesn't understand mortal humor enough to be that comical. Or he's doing it on purpose because he knows it gets on my nerves. Either way, welcome to my little space between spaces. It's been my base of operations for quite some time now. Have you 
been alone here all this time? I can't imagine. Eh, 147 years goes by in a flash when you're playing messenger for God. 100 and... What? How? Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Eh, just give it about a week and shit will start making sense. I know I may not look it, but I was actually a teacher in my prior life. I've done this show and dance before, just not on this magnitude. Well, I can't guarantee I'm anywhere near a top student. It'll probably take me more than just a week to get used to... this. At least the pain is sort of familiar. Yeah, you'll get used to... wait. What do you mean by that? Oh, um... I, uh... I've got a few chronic illness diagnoses. Chronic pain, chronic fatigue, joints being achy. That has all been part of my life for years already. Oh. No stranger to pain, I see. I guess getting an interdimensional hole punched in your chest is just a cherry on top of a pretty shitty day. I have had medicine to take care of it. Not sure how that'll work here, especially given the, uh, hole, as you put it. Well, where I'm from, we have a more alternative form of healing remedy. Have you ever had the pleasure of encountering a moonbell flower? Uh, what? I mean, I've spent plenty of time outside, but I don't think I've ever heard of those. Are they, like... Bluebells? Well, similar, but quite different. How it was made is quite a long and dreary story, but nevertheless, I may as well give you your history lessons now while you're bedbound. It's a divine flower that remedies nearly all ailments. Nearly.